Welcome to this colognes channel. I've put a list together of the longest lasting colognes in my collection. As you can tell, I've got quite a few, but these 15 are the longest lasting. If I was going to only pick the longest lasting ones, uh, they would probably all be niche just because there's nothing quite like natural wood oil. You literally can't get it off your skin. But for you guys to also enjoy this video, I also put in some of the longest lasting designer clones as well into this list. So you've got the best of both worlds. But I have to preface this video with this note because there's nothing quite like oud a niche really strong colognes. Let's start with the designer cologne and it is Sauvage Elixir from Dior. Now they've got a bigger bottle, yay, of this cologne and this is such a sexy manly cologne. It's so, so strong. It's literally you spray it on and you'll smell amazing all day. That's why I love it. I love the depth of it, the woodiness, the darkness of it, the sweetness of it. It's got all the best bits of all the Sauvage line. It's just an incredible cologne. I guarantee you'll have a ton of people complimenting you on your cologne. It's just incredible and it's one of the strongest designer ones in my collection definitely and I hope they never change the formula. So while they still got the first formula, get it because they'll for sure just water it down eventually. Next up it's an MFK fragrance and this one is no kidding like all of these are so strong. Oud Satin Mood Extra from MFK. This cologne is killer. You literally only need one or two sprays and you'll smell for at least a day. If you don't shower like properly and scrub everything then you'll still probably be able to smell it the next day if you put it on your clothes. Days, days, absolutely amazing oud rose concoction. It's sweet, it's velvety, it's so smooth. This is one of the most refined, really luxurious oud experiences in a fragrance. It's in no way a stinky oud. This is just French, delicate, but just strong perfume. But in the way that you smell it, it's just so sexy and so smooth. Mm. So, so good. Back to designer. And one of the strongest ones is Dior Homme Parfum. This cologne is no joke. It's very concentrated. I know that I've got the old formula, but even the new formula is very strong. This is the most beautiful iris fragrance you'll ever smell for men. It's so syrupy, it's sexy, it's very dressed up though, so be conscious of that. But if you love iris in a cologne, then you'll probably, if you smell this, you'll want to wear it all the time. This is how obsessed you'll become with this fragrance. To me, oh, it's just addictive, it's just, I can't get enough of this one. I always want to have a bottle in my collection, even if this one runs out, I'm getting the new one because this is just a masterpiece, sexy, suave cologne. Next, let's go to Amouage and Amouage, let's be honest here, has got some of the strongest fragrances ever. If you've ever smelled any of them, you'll be like, whoa, what is this? This is truly a very luxurious experience from the packaging sprayer, from the bottle, everything is top. Amouage Interlude Black Iris is the strongest Amouage I have in my collection. Together, I would say with Interlude, the original, they both are beasts but this one is just I feel like the longer I have it in my collection the strongest it actually gets I don't know if it's possible but that's how this fragrance feels the first time I sprayed it when it first came I just smelt it on a box because I just sprayed it on the cardboard box uh, and then I just threw away the box into like this segregation thing anyway it smelled <laughs> for days and it smelled so strong I couldn't taste my food so I had to throw it out. This is a very strong woody, super spicy but also sweet cologne. Very oriental smelling but so sophisticated, modern and just something that will make you smell like a million bucks. If you want something maybe designer then the newest Le Mans Elixir 
I have to say it's also very long lasting and it does project quite a bit as well. So this one, I have tested it on my husband, sprayed him all. That's how I love testing fragrances because I get to just get that experience of whether it's attractive or how strong it is. This is a strong fragrance, mega long lasting, and it's a nice, fun addition to the line. I would say it's much more of a happy, going out sort of a character in the Le Mal line, more than Le Mal Le Parfum. This is more like ultra male sort of territory. So if you love or loved ultra male and you want a more updated version, mega long lasting, then this one is a very attractive cologne, especially for like going out sort of situations or if you're a bit younger, I think it's very appropriate. Next fragrance that is the longest lasting. It's an oud one. I said to you, these sort of fragrances are no joke. If you are a fan of oud and you want an oud that will last for days, Nishane, this is mana. It's absolutely insane. If you spray this, you'll smell for days and days. It's hard to get rid of a scent like this. Not that you would want to because it smells amazing. It's very, it's a very leathery oud. It's super spicy, really strong and totally worth it if you're into this sort of scent profile. There is just something so luxurious about this. There is just... Like this just screams like when you walk into Harrods here in the UK, you can smell loads of oud and this just smells to me like Harrods in a bottle, really expensive smelling, really lovely oud scent. Next up, a Tom Ford fragrance, Tobacco Vigny. This scent is the Eau de Parfum. It's a very, very strong and long lasting scent, lasts forever and ever. This is like an obsession worthy cologne, tobacco, vanilla, Christmas spices, very appropriate for colder seasons, very yummy but still masculine and still you've got that spice and it's never very very sweet, not like a woman's fragrance sweet, you know. This really is nice and peppery and strong, super gorgeous, more of a niche level sort of a fragrance, totally worth the money, like you'll get your money's worth with this one, absolutely great. I'll link any of them down below and the best deals I can find for you. If I've got any codes for the niche scents, I'll also put them down below so you can get the best deal. Next, strongest fragrance in my collection and you probably know that it's the most long lasting if you've been watching my videos, is Baccarat Rouge Extrait de Parfum. This is really no joke. I know that this fragrance gets loads of hate um, just because it's so popular. But man, if you want a really long lasting scent and you want something that is sweet, saffron, woody, transparent, really amazing smelling. I've smelled it on a guy in London. He walked into a uh, tube train and I was like, whoa, he smells so, so good. And the whole, I don't know what it's called, like section of the tube smelled absolutely amazing and like his fragrance. So if you want an incredible, long-lasting but also projecting fragrance that is incredible then go for this one are you ready for the next oud fragrance on this list i've told you oud is no joke oud maracuya from maison cruvelli this is extrait de parfum very concentrated i i just opened this and i was like whoa very very strong so if you want a fun oud so this is not your traditional oud scents that you would get in loads of places, then this is something that you should go and find because this is oud, but also the fruit maracuya. So fun, so different. It really makes it more lighthearted, a bit less linear, I would say, uh, of a scent as well, because you've got that maracuya. It's such a fun fragrance to wear, but yeah, I sprayed this on uh, just to test it because this wasn't out yet i sprayed it on my shirt and no kidding after washing it twice it wasn't getting off the shirt like it's no joke this scent is mega mega strong mega long lasting super fun try it out and let me know what you think next we've got a uh, more affordable scent that is absolutely long lasting club de nuit intense man from armaf Armaf, yes, I always say Amraf. This scent is a dupe for Creed Aventus. 
and it's a very, very long lasting dupe. I can smell time in this now. Anyways, this scent is very, very strong. Birch, woody, you know, Creed Aventus vibe. I bet all of you watching this video know what Creed Aventus smells like. This will make Creed Aventus weep <laughs> because it's so strong and so long lasting. I love the brutality of like the harsh burt in here when it opens, like the opening of this fragrance. I think it's very like appropriate for the scent. I love it. So if you don't like harsh fragrances though, synthetic fragrances, you might not enjoy it. But if you love just this scent of Greater Aventus and you want a strong one, this one is a great one. Next up, we've got a Bivetto, very sexy scent. This, oof, is sexy as scent. De Los Santos from Bairedo, very long lasting, very projecting as well. For Bairedo, that is not a common occurrence. So with this one, it's an exception. It's super long lasting, very spicy, not for everybody. It's woody, it's extremely woody actually and spicy. It's got some sandalwood in here. It's got some tea notes. It's very medicinal. You wouldn't think that these notes work but somehow they're insanely attractive oh, there's something just so moorish about the scent love it next we've got bleu de chanel i've put parfum on this list because to me this one is the longest lasting one it isn't the most projecting one but it is the most long lasting one and it's a winner in my book every guy should own one this is like a woman magnet sort of a cologne it's so classy, but so sexy. It's hard to merge the two, but this fragrance does it. And it's oof, sublime, sublime. Just don't get it from like discounters because I just don't believe that Chanel, like Chanel never does sales. So get it from reputable source, get it from Chanel website and get some free samples as a gift. But yeah, don't be fooled. Like if somebody's just selling it for too good of a price, then it's definitely not the original. Next fragrance is also niche. And I wanted to say that you guys ask me like, oh, this is too expensive for me sometimes, but I always try to get codes for you. For example, on Twisted Lily, you've got tons of niche fragrances and I always have an active code, code with them, MON10, 10% for 10 of all the fragrances so you know you don't get niche fragrances discounted that often like that's hard but you always get that code 10% off pretty much any niche fragrance you want so you can always try that and I try to do my best to just link like discounters as well so you can shop the best deal and get the most fragrances for your money. Next up is Oud for greatness from Initio. This scent is again a monster and so many people love it. It's super spicy. It should be called like something spice bomb because it's so hyper spicy mm, and juicy and woody. This is like this woodiness that is in nearly all Parfum de Mali and Initial Fragrances because they're a sister company but this woodiness is like a transparent woodiness. It's super sexy, makes a great backbone to uh, this scent and this one is juicy, a bit fruity. Mm smelling it oh my gosh it's so sexy so long lasting definitely an oud fragrance that doesn't smell like wood <laughs> so don't be scared of the oud bit in here because this is more of a woody scent than oud i would say so excellent scent and also very very strong next we've got a valentino new scent so this is a new born in roma womo intense uh, scent and it's very very long lasting super strong of a clone oh i love that ginger in here it's super attractive a bit fun this is like your good old designer sort of a cologne but with an added bit of fun i think it makes it a bit more interesting with that ginger and with that that spice it's tiny bit sweeter uh, also than your like blue cologne but very very similar like blue cologne vibes just a bit more fun interesting and long lasting really great cologne like super like i'm so excited about this new release from valentina so 
get yourself a bottle. I know that many of you have commented under my video comparing the original and this and have said that you have loved it as well. So I know it's like a killer with you guys. And another, another cologne that is super long lasting and very unique. It's Ingredients by Maison Crivelli. This is an exclusive from their website. If you want something one of a kind that is just not being worn by a lot of people, this is again, no kidding, like the longest lasting fragrance in my collection. Super unique smelling. The ingredients are a mystery, nobody knows them. That's why it's called ingredients. But it smells like um, very spicy and almost like when you iron your clothes or dry them. This like staticky cleanliness that you smell from like fresh out of the dryer washing. That, but like super hyper spicy. This is very, very strong, but light at the same time. You under underestimate when you first apply it how strong it really is, but people will be like definitely noticing it. It's this one, it's no joke again. So if you want something really interesting, very unique, very different, not so easily accessible to people than ingredients it is. Let me know what is the longest lasting cologne you've ever smelled. I want to try them all, so leave me your comments down below and subscribe definitely because I know a lot of you watching are not subscribed and I'll see you later. Bye.